Do you save your research papers or your PhD thesis on your computer or on your laptop? If you do, then watch this video very carefully. Have you imagined what would happen if your laptop or your computer crashes or it is stolen? All the work that you have done would be lost and this can be a real big problem, especially if you are working on a deadline. What I suggest is start saving your files on a cloud platform like Google Drive or Dropbox so that your files can be automatically saved there. I have seen many cases where students have saved their writing on a laptop or a USB stick and then they have lost it or the device is damaged and they have lost all the work that they have done. Don't ever take that risk or put all your files on such devices. Always store your writing on a cloud platform. Personally, I use Google Drive to sync all my files. I think it is the best option because I regularly use it and I find it very helpful. I used to use Dropbox before, but my Dropbox account got full and I decided to buy a yearly subscription of Google Drive instead as I can use it even for my Gmail storage. The other thing that I can suggest is start using Google Docs to write. If you have a good internet connection, then writing online in Google Docs, it is the safest and the most reliable way to ensure that your writing remains safe. You know, it is also a very good way for collaboration. I normally use Google Docs with all my PhD students. When we are creating a new paper, we create it in Google Docs and I write it in and my students also write it in the same document at the same time. So we can see how the paper is evolving and developing. It's a really good feeling. Just remember that whenever you write, it has taken a lot of effort and you do not want it to go wasted. So take step now, after watching this video, go and set up your Google Drive or your Dropbox account or any other software that you like and start saving your files on the cloud. Another benefit of using Google Drive or Dropbox is that you can always go back to a previous version of the same document in case you need to revert your changes to an earlier version for any reason. You can easily do that. This feature is not possible if you are writing using Microsoft Word. So that is something that you have to be careful of. So follow these steps and safeguard your writing during your PhD. I hope this video was helpful to you in your research journey. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to my channel. I'm also looking for new campus ambassadors. If you would like to represent me, please join my WhatsApp group for campus ambassadors. Link is in the description below. Also, if you want to learn how to do your research systematically, then have a look at my course on systematic literature reviews. This course is fully online, so you can learn it at your own pace and even using your smartphone. There are six modules and more than 150 lessons with videos, research activities and writing tasks. If you want to be successfully published in top journals, then you should not miss this course. It's a must for every researcher. Many of my students who have completed this course have published their papers in Q1 and A ranked journals. In this course, I discuss each and every task that you need to do to complete to write a literature review for a top ranked journal. This course is most comprehensive course on systematic literature reviews and I guarantee that you will complete your SLR paper by completing the activities given in this course. To find more information about this course, click on the link to get a detailed insight into this course. If you have any questions about this course, join my telegram group so I can answer them for you. Link is in the description below. If you have any suggestions or compliments, please leave them in the comments as I enjoy reading them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. I want you to have faith in me and believe that anything is possible. If you have the dedication, courage, and the right guidance. Like I always say, believe and succeed. That is all I have to say in this video. I'm Vidipoddar. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in my next video.